Hello, welcome back to Agarian Skies 2 TLV. Let's continue with Tomcraft, Blood Magic, etc. So, should we do the the orb? Block of Magic, twenty five thousand. So we should just push, put this guy in there. He will drain. It's draining quite fast. We are twenty one thousand. Twenty one thousand. I got five thousand there. Get some incense there. Meanwhile, while that's cooking up, we can do the redstone V's from Thorncraft. We can reach how much V's there is in a container. Send out the redstone signal depending on V's. Let's get some extra in there. This should be ready. There it is. Magician's Blood Orb. That's nice actually. That can store much more. Six in jar labels, uh, not interested. Um, let's see. Don't scare me. What can we do more? We can do a lot of Thumbcraft stuff. Now we can do Bloodstone. What do we need Bloodstone for? Large Bloodstone Brick. Don't see what they're really used for. Get some blood shards. We can do the divine inside now. More network capacity. Rune. I think we want to do a rune of sacrifice though. A lot of it. Spell table, I have no idea. But I remember this unbound crystal that we can make spells of. I, think I remember it as being quite cool. We should be able to do Livens now. So our third incense crucible. Livens. Do five Livens. And we get five more. So there's another, the third level of incense. That's pretty cool. Uh, scan. Can't scan that. And then we should do demonic slate, right? Reinforced slate. That will make an imbued slate. No, now we need level 4 for Bloodstone and then we can go for the Ritual. Master Ritual. We can, can we make that with our... Yeah, we can. Ritual Stone. Oof. Expensive. Um... Should we try to upgrade this dude to the manipulator? Alter manipulator. Diviner is expensive. No, let's try something different then. 
Back to Thalmcraft. Thirsty tank is something we need. In the pearl we need Lucrum. Yeah, let's do some Thalmcraft. In uh, the pearl. Pearl. We can scan some more luck room. Maybe we need one more arcane okay, crafting. So what are we doing now? A thirsty tank. Thirsty tank. We need arcane stone block. Get our wand in there. Start with nine. Thirsty tank. Let's go back to Thorncraft. Thirst tank will pick up fluid that comes in contact with it. If the fluid happens to be a source block of water, it will stay filled with water until the source plug is removed. But not flowing water, I guess. That would make it too powerful. So it's the source blocks, I guess. Interesting. Got some good scan there. More Thorncraft things you can do. Extreme storage. Using void you can create a tank capable of holding 256 essentially at a time. Much more than a water jar. We get a void sword. I don't have the research to do that. But where is the thirsty tank? It's here. There's so many things we cannot do. We cannot do anything more here. Oh, really? There are things at the edges, hidden. Sky magic. We can make silverwood saplings, make more notes. Cinder pearl. Tallow golems. I guess here's nothing that's blocking. What is this? Curative Vet. Thomic Horizons. Great Moot Boat. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. The Great Moot will be never be destroyed on impact. But can be punk picked up. Thomium boat. We need a great wood boat. Okay, so you can use it for uh, going on lava. So now we can make that quest. Node monitor. One focus illumination. Security vet, heal thyself. Uh huh. With your new uh, newfound understanding of the tissue replication, it should be possible to adapt these techniques to rapidly heal a creature's wounds. The procedure is rather delicate and cannot be performed with a crucible. Instead, you have to design a specialized vat which diagnoses the patient and pipes in the appropriate essential to treat them. Victor Stray lost health, but slowly fames refills hunger bar. Sonic restores health, but also the first. Simply enter, exit, simply right click the lead access hatch. Okay, that's that's quite funny. That is quite funny. Incarnation. Livestock on demand.
sugar nutrient mix. We need the creature's blood in a warded syringe. And we can clone it with Victus Essentia into the vat. Okay, okay. That's interesting. But what research is blocking all of this? I don't get it. Let's look around here. One, oh, maybe harnessing V's. We have some basic ones we haven't done. One recharge pedestal. And that seems quite good. But you should, I think you can also recharge it in Arcane Workbench when you put uh, some relay over it. Okay, notes will not be fully bleed drained, that's good, unless it's a poor quality one crafted from Iron 6, you're yeah, right, right. Harnessing these. Uh, do, do, do. Without these, the attorneys would not be able to perform simplest of tasks, but the notes and self and limitations make the impractical or expensive operations foremost amongst these limitations the fact that they're easily depleted and it takes quite some time for them to once again, uh, again gather energy from muscular sources they're connected to. You think you may have found a way to around that limitation, it's fake. Nodes are, are tiny gateways to a mysterious font of mystery, mystical energy around which end is slow like can be its form of fees. Gateways so small and tiny the amount of energy leaks into our reality, but leverage open this door where you can cause a beast to pour forth in a torrent. Hmm. This is even more dangerous than it sounds. However, be careful steps must be taken during the entering entire process. Firstly, the node needs to be stabilized during the entire process. Once it's you need to craft a place a node transducer above the node, then apply a red zone signal. Transducer node will begin converting to its energized node. It quickly lose its stored Vs in the process. The process takes some time, but the node will be changed into energized node. Caution should be taken to keep both the stabilized and introduced active from now on. Energized nodes no longer store or recharge Vs. Nor can these Vs be drawn from them with a wand or other means. Instead, they produce a steady supply of CV, centivs, or a hundred of a V's, each tick. You can tap V's relays near the energized node. And they will, okay, and they will send it, okay. Hmm. V's relay. So I can send V's here and there. From the nodes. We also tune a relay to one of the primal aspects. Okay, okay, so you can have filters. It's, it, it is possible to turn NGS node back to normal, simply cut the redstone signal to the transducer and slowly turn it back to normal node. Caution. Should be taken hours since the node will be completely drained of V's and thus risk of being damaged. Compound recharge focus. This storage. Most of the time, a single wand is more than enough for a thumbs up, but on occasions there are <coughs> these, this storage just is enough. But carrying more than one wand would solve this, but I just want to show that there is another way of crafting an amulet capable of storing these, so you'll be able to recharge wands and other items in the field while being it's being worn. Your success has been mixed, however, you can only recharge once while holding them in your own hands. 
and even the recharge rate is slow. That kind of sucks. However, the amulet is able to act as a good power source for other things, like the repair enchant or runic shielding. Can only be recharged in a one pedestal. So we have some more Thorncraft things to do. Let's do some. What am I lacking? Ordo? Don't tell me I like. No, I don't like Ordo actually. I like Hemonus. Focal one focus are capable of amazing feats, but they aren't very flexible. Single focus on uh, seldom capable of performing more than a single function. You have discovered a way to upgrade basic focus and to alter the way they manipulate magic. You simply need to place a focus in the focal manipulator. Choose the upgrade you wish to apply to it. You also need to provide VVs from real estate spend uh, experience point to get the process started. But after that, it's simply a matter of waiting. Five times you can upgrade. Each range doubles cost. Multiple times at any rank, many folk have upgrades that can only be applied certain ranks, and only if certain requisite upgrades have been taken at low ranks, experimentation is encouraged. Upgrades are permanent, you are not aware of any method to remove one to one that upgrades, so care must be take, uh, taken when choosing them. This charging relay, that's the one I think you place over the arcane crafting table. Mm, do, 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 okay. Keep his one chart. Now they have found a way to draw this beast directly from node. They're able to craft beast in the charging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I know all about that one. Now we have some more things here. Ethereal shard. This dynamo. Don't have that much magic left. And air. Occasionally find yourself needing a uh, centivis without an energized node at hand. This apparatus neatly solves the problem by powering devices directly from the user's wand. Holding down the right mouse button and one will charge the dynamo. Drawing one these per second from the wand, emitting 5 CV. Okay. Interesting. Essentia Dynamo. Vs Dynamo. Though the Vs Dynamo is certainly useful, its need for manual attention is often makes it impractical. What if you could automate the process with piping in Essentia? From your early attempts to develop alchemical centrifuge, you remember that it's all too easy to accidentally vaporize Essentia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can power machines by automating Vs and then pumping Vs through Essentia. And we'll produce a stream of centivis. Okay, stream of centivis. Ethereal shard. Oops, I clicked this. Nodes, upstairs, and thorns are most valuable. As it's high times. Your treatment such with some slight modification it's a thunder you have created a device such as adjacent to an R node keeps track of its status. Should any of nodes aspects drop to a single point of width, the redstone signal, okay. Ethereal shard. We're getting low now. Ethereal essence left over from destroyed Arnold has long been a tantalizing mystery. It seems to retain Noah's ability to store Vs in an easily accessible form but cannot charge itself without the dimensional breach of Noah's heart left unattended. 
We may just go to workarounds for both these issues with the proper infusion. A balanced shard can serve as official node core. This boost has no Vs of its own. It's sent Vs from the Energize node can easily be redirected into the third shard for convenient storage. Shard has no Vs capacity on its own. You must right click the third lessons and capacity once the charged Vs can be drawn. For okay. Something to look up later. You want to make a great wood boat. Take a pause to make something. Boat. Create with boat. Boat. Let's make that one. Scan some more. Bam. Thank you. Domium boat. I don't have thomium ingots, maybe. I find that hard to believe. Not sure. Do we have this much magic? Seventy one. We will make... oh, we don't. Um, Talkcraft boat. We are missing Ordo again. Can probably discover some new nodes actually. This one has filled up a little bit. Or maybe not. It has. So thank you. Thorncraft boat. Okay, so we can go lava drifting. And then we get a void sword, which I don't know what it does. No, we get that from the reservoir, which we can't make yet. Extra life. Jars, labels, conversion monitor, yeah, yeah, that. Hmm. Three blaze rods, okay, that's good, we need blaze rods. Uh, infuse yourself. Zero converter. Can't make that though. Color of pain. Uh, 
Now you can get these while adding life essence to your blood. Okay, that's cool. But which one is... Um, isn't this blood magic? It is, right? So here. Oh, I didn't know it was so much here. And this is botanic as well. Diabolic fork. Oh, and this is what we need to do. Wrath cage. We can make spawners. Have we activated the... Uh, I think we have. Can't make ref shards though. It's quite expensive. Dangerous instability, okay. You have created a tool to help you tinker with various infernal contraptions. The quartz prong on Diabolus Fork allowed to attune itself to arcane energies. Along with being attuned to a device that fork also makes functional weapon. More information should be available the more you research. If a fork is used to slay a compatible creature with a blank imprinting crystal in your inventory, it will imprint on the crystal. The imprinted crystal can be used to attain breath cage. Okay, then it's like a So far net. So just which essential type of rock is used to fu for fuel? Okay, so it needs essential fuel. That's pretty cool. Lord of Hellfire. Getting stranded in Nether is the worst. You go through all the trouble of grabbing what you need before you can go home. Some stupid gas decides to rain on your parade blasting the portal shut sure this is amended by carrying a flint and steel around but who actually walks around with those things we just got a way to use these to light fires okay flame from your hand axe of the skull taker ring of nutrition People keep scolding you, they insist that you can't just eat cookies all day, the nutrition won't work like well you've had it with these naysayers. The ring of nature provides a boost to the food and saturation values. Most food you eat while wearing the ring on your finger. Side effects moistening may include nausea, headaches, cramping, vertigo, diabetes, and some interest in homeopathy. Okay, gluttony shard. Infernal wand core. Should we make this arcane abacus to see how <clears throat> see if we can use it, see how much how good our altar is? Abacus. Ten ordo. 9.5 So how do I use this? Pedestal lacks a symmetrical partner Total stability boost is 8 Minus eight eight here, eight eight five, eight eight
What? Eight, eight, five. And this is X. Eighty five. So this X position. And Y is uh, sixty seven sixty five. So it's this this level of crystals. Sixty-two, sixty-four. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times nine is eight. So we only have eight instability. Uh, 1064, 1062. This crystal and this crystal. One, two, three, one, two, three. What about all these spider heads? Why don't they count? That's 162. No, uh, what was the Y level again? 67. It's only at 67. Are they okay? Sixty-seven. Sixty-two. One thousand sixty two, one thousand sixty four. There's only these two here at Y sixty seven. So they are not stable. <sighs> okay. But why why are these table then? Let's plunk these down here then. It said pedestal. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm so Mmm, smart. Told the stability boost. I just doubled it. <laughs> I doubled it. Okay, so they needed to be. <laughs> they needed to be stable. I mean, like putting these pedestals here. I just doubled my stability, and we are gonna increase further on. So we can see if we can put stuff here. Let's see before we end. It's a good test here. Take some uh, ender heads. Boink. Okay, so that's uh, unstable. But it means I can. The area is quite wide actually. Oh my god! Damn! What about out here? 
gold okay that's that's too far but it means oh, it goes all the way out here somewhere <laughs> okay uh, that's good to know so I will clean up here and maybe we should make some more crystals make this more uh, stable it's quite cool to know cool uh, cool uh, device arcane abacus should have a chest here of just uh, Should we put it in the inventory? I will just forget it though. Farmcraft things should stay here somewhere. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye bye.